Hey y'all, if you're new to the pack, this is Dolce. Dolce, give me Lucia. Dolce is my dominant female, kind of corso. Lucia is the uh, one year old, one and a half year old uh, female kind of corso. So those are the two girls. Gypsy is little pit bull puppy, 10 months old. Ozzy, Ozzy is the alpha male. Are you hungry? Who's hungry? Let me see. Look what I got. Um, yeah, so Ozzy is the, uh, like I said, he's the alpha male. My fifth dog is actually in the car right now because I'm about to take him to the vet to get a tumor re removed. I'm taking him to Houston. Long backstory on that. I'll tell y'all in a minute when I get in the car. So I'm he getting ready to head out. Uh, it's about a almost a four hour drive to Houston. Ozzy, you hungry? So I'm I'm gonna give them their little um, beef neck bone before I leave. I sometimes will give these, um, I'll give the dogs a, uh, one of these raw beef neck bones that's been frozen for 48 hours. So it's, it takes them a little while to chew through it and it distracts them when I'm leaving. Look what I get. I have to rinse it, give them a good rinse. Um, I freeze them so that it kills most potential parasites. USDA meat, inspected meat, will sometimes still have parasites in it. Ozzy. So Ozzy's alpha, he gets his first. Good boy, Papa. Good boy. Lucia, sit. Lucia, sit. Sit down. Sit, good, sit, good girl. She's a big girl for still being a puppy. Okay, Dolce. Ready, Dolce? Sit. Dolce, sit. Good, sit, baby. I'm feeding Dolce in front and ahead of uh, little Gypsy. Gypsy's very uh, dominant. She's, I think, competing for dominance with the kind of corso Dolce here. And I don't want her to um, rise in the ranks. Good, sit. I want Dolce to maintain her dominance over the pit bull because pit bull's a wild card, y'all. Uh, I think that was going to be a very dangerous situation if the pit bull um, outranks the kind of corso or tries to. All right, so I'm just going to run to the bathroom real quick and then I'll head out. Okay, so here's Tux. He's a pit bull mix. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. You can see his right eye is all gunky there. I just put some uh, antibiotic ointment in it. Uh, and so he's got a lesion on the top of his eyelid. It's a little bump. I think it's a probably a benign tumor. Yeah, it's Tuxy. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it there. Oh, Tux. I don't know if y'all can see it. Good boy. See how it... It's kind of resting on the cornea, so that's why it has to come out. It's irritating the cornea, causing infection there. Yes, my tugs. He's a sweet boy. Yeah, we're going to go for a ride. He's actually got a little, another one right there on the left, left lower lid. Anyway, let me get on the road. I'm going to tell you all the backstory on that in a minute. Ooh, I see this thing. What is it, Tugs? Oh. What is it, Tugs? Very cool. So, this is the place in Houston where they actually do the uh, ear cropping. It's called ear trim. But they, they have fixed um, Lucia's cherry eye. She had cherry eye before. They fixed it really well. So I'm hoping they can just take this thing off. His eye. Tux is whining because he wants to go say hi to that dog. These are all the dogs they did that you crop on. 
all the different types of uh, ear crop. Hello, Luca. Hello there. Okay, y'all, so I just dropped Tux off to the, the actual bit that's gonna take the uh, tumor off of his eye. And so I have a little bit of time to kind of explain the backstory that I was referring to. Um, so what happened was that, what happened was that I did have an appointment for Tux to get that uh, tumor removed from his eye at the vet that I usually take him to. Um, you know closer to where I live and I had the consult appointment and everything and we had arranged for the surgery to be Sunday um, and they quoted me $600 which they said included everything um, sorry no they said it was going to be because I asked for them to also do a teeth cleaning at the same time that they're since he's going to be under anesthesia anyway let's just do the teeth cleaning like the vet recommended and so the quote that was given to me at that time so that would include teeth cleaning eye tumor removal and everything was eleven hundred dollars and so I said okay let's just not do the teeth cleaning I can do that at a later date um, and his teeth aren't ter terribly dirty so um, they said okay fine no no problem that brings you down to uh, six hundred dollars um, and so I said okay that's that's more reasonable so fast forward to Sunday I get to the vet to drop Tux off and they take him back you know behind the door to do the procedure and then um, they collect they go to ask for the the uh, deposit so she took you know three hundred dollars from me for roughly half of the full bill of six hundred and so and then I, I pay that and then I head home and then I get a call when I'm nearly home from the that same tech that took the deposit and she said oh I forgot to tell you um, I accidentally quoted you without including the cost of anesthesia and the cost of anesthesia is nearly $500, the anesthesia packa package. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, she's like, so, you know, sorry, my mistake. And so I argued back and forth and told her the original quote and how that didn't make sense. And can you have someone check your math? And she said, yes, I will. And she put me on a hold for 30 minutes and came back and said, nope, sorry, the cost, you know, is, is still, um, nearly $500 more and so I said uh, just cancel everything I'm gonna come pick Tux up uh, don't do anything to him yet and so that's what I did I, I went and I uh, picked Tux up and uh, luckily they didn't start the procedure um, before they received the full payment which is good but um, so they said they're gonna refund me the $300 I haven't seen that yet so I still have to follow up with that so I don't know y'all, sounds like a scam to me. Although, you know, I gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. I can't accuse them of lying, but it, it sure does make you wonder. Um, 
so that is why I now am driving nearly four hours to Houston to take him to this clinic. This clinic in Houston is pretty good. It's called Ear Trim. I've taken all of my dogs that have had crops to this clinic. They're experts at ear crops and uh, that cherry eye removal. And so, like I said, I had Lucia at this clinic to get her cherry eye uh, procedure done, which was uh, roughly two to three hundred dollars, which is unbelievable, unbelievably um, cheap, um, considering what other vets would charge. So, guess what the grand total is for what I'm having Tux done today? They're going to do the eye tumor removal, and they're going to do the teeth cleaning. And, um, you know, the eye drop medication, gentamicin, all of that for $330. So, unbelievably, reasonably priced, you know. And so, um, I just have to drive four hours out of my way, which is, you know, considering gas, tack on, you know, $50 or we'll, even if you want to tack on $100, it's still... Um, half the price half the price of what this other vet near my home was going to charge so um so yeah that's the the long story of why i had to drive to houston to have this procedure done and they're very good at what they do they do hundreds and hundreds of these procedures daily or weekly i don't know but they their their clinic is usually always packed but they're extremely efficient and they've been doing this for years I know the vet that works here is a very honest vet, doesn't try to nickel and dime everybody and overcharge. Um, the way they're able to do it though is that they, uh, they charge a reasonable price but they still make their profit because they turn so many patients. It's a, it's a first come first serve. If you look them up um, you'll see their hours and it's first come first serve. They're, they're open really good hours. I think they're only closed um, one day, Tuesday, I believe it is. Uh, but they're open, you know, Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, with the amount of patients that they serve, they're able to still maintain their, their profits, but not overcharge their, their clients. So that's why I'm using them. And the aftercare is very, very good. So I really trust this clinic a lot. And um, yeah, y'all, that's, that is the short of it. And you know, it's what, I, I think many people would agree with me that just like with, um, dentists, especially in the, in the United States, I don't know how it is abroad, but you know, you, you'll have one dentist charging one price for the exact same procedure that another dentist will charge the double for, you know, or three times the amount. So it's not like a, industry standard price you know you, it just depends on which dentist you go to same thing with veterinarians i, I find that you, you'll you'll have some veterinarians like it, it, for example in my case they'll charge double for a procedure that another vet will do at a, a very reasonable price you know so anyways i'm just waiting for tux they're gonna call me on my cell as soon as he's done and uh, I thought that was a little cool uh, picture of, or a video of the lemur that they have I think that's the owner's lemur I haven't seen him in there before but but I also like coming to this vet um, because I can see all the uh, the beautiful dogs that usually come here for their ear crops it's you'll you'll see um, beautiful Dobermans you'll see beautiful American bullies um, Cane Corsos, Dogo Argentinos. Um, so I was going to try and get y'all some footage. Maybe when I go back in the clinic to get Tux. I was going to try and get y'all some footage of those um, beautiful dogs if I see them. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay. They just wheeled him to me. He's all done, Tuxie. He's all done. Let me see your eye. He's a little bit groggy from the anesthesia, but yeah, that is, it was on his right eye. There's my tags. Well, y'all, 
they refunded me pretty much half of my money back because the vet that was it wasn't the the main vet the owner that actually did the procedure come to find out they said that the owner you know the the vet with the most experience basically he wasn't here today he's out of town so it's his son that was the vet uh here and his son you know they said that um he tried to take it off and he got some of it off but he said it started to bleed and it was he would have to cut too much into the actual eyelid so it seems to be a little bit more of a complicated procedure they don't re routinely do this kind of procedure this this vet ma mainly does ear crops and cherry eye removal and they do you know like really routine like teeth cleaning they were able to do his teeth cleaning though so that's good um so i still got some antibiotic drops for his eye um and so i'll have to they they suggested that i call back when the main vet is back in town they think that he could probably do it so hi tuxi he's my good boy he's a little bit groggy from the anesthesia but still, it wasn't a wasted trip. We got a good teeth cleaning. We got some of the the mass removed, at least the part that's really hanging down on the on the cornea, the outside of the eye. So we're gonna head home now, and uh, I'll see y'all when we get home. Good boy, Tuxie. You're a good boy. You're so good boy. Yes. Okay, we're home. We're home, y'all. Everybody's smelling tucks. Picking up all the scents that she brought back from that vet clinic. Gulch is checking them out. Ozzy's checking them out. Uh-uh, no. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. Let's see ya. Ooh, that was a long trek to Houston. It's a round trip, eight hour drive. Well, three and a half hours each way, so really seven hours. Come on! But, come on, come! Dolce, come! Let's go! Leave it! Dolce! Good girl! She's got excellent recall. <laughs> She's like, let me grab the stick first. <laughs> come on, Lucia! Get it, Lucia! Ozzy! Ozzy, let's go! Ozzy! Come on, Ozzy! Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Hi, Papa. Good boy. Oh, it's always so good to be home with the pack. Come on, Tuxie. Come on, let's go this way. Ozzy, come. Let's go this way. Good boy, Oz. Good boy, Ozzy. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Come on this way, Lucia. Come, come, come. Tux. I'm coming. Hi, Papa. Oh, it always feels so good to be home. Yay, we're back with the pack. I'll have to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do with, with Tux's eye there. Uh, I'm not, I, I can't take him this week because I, I have to work, I have to go to work. Um, so I will try to arrange taking him next week back to Houston or or and I'm still gonna try another local vet not the one that was trying to charge me 1100 but I'll still make an appointment with another local vet see if I can get him in somewhere for an estimate but you know if, if he hasn't been seen it'll be a consultation visit that's gonna be about a hundred dollars you know and it <laughs> Chances are they're still going to be very expensive. I doubt it's going to be eleven hundred dollars, but Dolce. But still, uh, at least I wouldn't have to drive all the way to Houston. But depending on how expensive a local vet is, I'd still drive to Houston if it's a significant, like a five hundred dollar difference. Hey, see, he's he's looks nice and recovered from the anesthesia. 
But yeah, like I was saying, he, he did get a large portion of that uh, mass clipped off, it looks like. So not all of it is protruding onto his cornea on the eyeball. So he was able to get some relief there. But uh, it'll probably continue to grow and continue to get irritated. So, yeah, the other thing is if, uh, if I can't get an appointment like within the next couple weeks with a local vet, then I'll just drive to Houston. I don't want to wait too long. Hi, baby boy. Oh, but it does actually look much better. Hi, baby boy. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's still protruding a little bit on the eyelid, but... So, y'all... He did clip a little bit off, so that's good. Look at these rain lilies. These rain lilies, they're beautiful, but they are poisonous to dogs. Any, I think anything from the lily family, any kind of lily. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Gypsy. Are you so excited? Are you so excited? I'm excited to see you too, baby girl. But, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? So, we're about to get a beautiful sunset here. Okay. What is it, Oz? I think the deer are prob the deer are probably out feeding. That's probably what they're in tune with right there. Lucia, oh. What is it, Lucia? Hi, baby girl. I missed my baby girl. <laughs> They're smelling all those scents from the vet, from the vet's office. Well, too bad I didn't get to show y'all any kind of a um, cool dog breeds. There's usually a lot more at that vet but yeah like I said next time if I do end up driving out there for his procedure most likely I'll be able to show y'all some pretty cool looking dogs hey papa oh. I, ooh, you got in trouble girl Ozzy's correcting her trying to tell her to get out of his space oh, she just can't help herself look at that tail she just can't help herself there's Tux! Get my Tux! Tuxy! There's my Tux. Oh! Ozzy! Ozzy's really showing dominance on Tux. Because I think he, uh, you know, he, he recognizes that Tux has been out in the world. <laughs> He's been out there on the outside. And the two girls are at it. Oh, she is just fired up. The two puppy, all oh, that puppy energy. Oh, beautiful. Hey, baby, dear. Let's go over to the mosh pit and get some of that energy out. Oh, well, I keep saying on most of my videos, i got to trim this grass, but I actually just ordered a different uh, weed whacker. I ordered a better one. The one I have keeps, keeps uh, getting tangled up and... So that should be actually I think it's on my doorstep right now. I saw a large box there on the on the front door step when I came home. Yeah, so I can get to cracking on that probably this weekend. Hi baby girl. I'll finally get this grass trimmed up. She wants me to throw her tree stump. So all is well with the pack. Do it, you. Bring me that. Give me that stick. Or should I say a tree stump? Come on, Tuxie. Tux looks really happy. Uh, so yeah, he did well for his teeth cleaning. His teeth are pearly white now. <laughs> and uh, hey, Tuxie. Yes, yes. I'll continue to put antibiotics in his eye since it's still a little bit ir irritated and I'll uh, follow up with y'all when I get him his uh, next appointment to complete that procedure. 
But thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, uh, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. You better leave him. You better leave him. You better leave him. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm just going to stay out here for another probably 30 minutes to an hour and then get us some dinner. So, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Don't you give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I'm going to get it. Give me that. Give me that. Yep, she give me that. Yep, she got it. I got it. Ozzy. Hey, Papa. Oh. See her hackles are up. Gypsy. Leave her. You better leave her. You better leave it, Gypsy. Don't you get it. Good boy, baby. Thank mm -hmm. you.